Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shane Eikenberry, and you're watching another episode of Eichen Barbecue. Today, we've got a really fun one planned. We're going to do our take on the McRib. The plan is to overcook some ribs out there on the uh, Traeger, get them on a sandwich, hope for the best. Stay tuned. All right, to start, we got this beautiful set of baby back ribs. I've already trimmed them up just a little bit, haven't removed the membrane, but we do plan to do that. Uh, any McRib I've eaten, uh, which has only happened about twice in my lifetime, uh, has always been really soft, so I think the membrane would kind of throw off that experience. So we're gonna get that removed now. Then we're gonna uh, throw some mustard on there for a binder. It won't add any flavor, but it will help this rub it here. And today we're gonna be using the uh, Meat Church Holy Gospel Rub. So pretty good trick to uh, removing membranes. I found it really works best on the baby back ribs, not so much the St. Louis rib. It's just to work your, your finger under the skin here. Now you can use the paper towel and grab from one end. Um, it's not always the best pull for me. Uh, I know there's people who probably have that thing down pat. Uh, but this one, you just kind of work your finger under. Try not to break the skin. The butchers don't always help. A lot of times they'll score this membrane and make it a pain to get off. But there you go. Oh, I broke the skin. The golden rule, but anyway. Take it, once you get your fingers under it, then you just pull up. Membrane, gone. Other than that little strip that I broke, but don't do that. Don't be me, don't be that guy. All right, so. Got the membrane removed. This is going to annoy me, so I'm also going to remove it. <laughs> Most YouTubers won't show you this part. I guess I just refer to myself as a YouTuber. It's terrible. Alright, ladies and gents, first step is the binder. Just going to use some yellow mustard. Remember, this will not add any flavor to the ribs at all. We just want a thin layer just to help this rub it here. I mean, as soon as we're done here, we're getting them out on the pit. So they're really not going to have any time to sit and sweat. Okay, now the Holy Gospel. I'm gonna get that on there. Remember, for an even spread, you wanna hold the shaker about six inches above the meat. Go ahead and flip it. Repeat on the bottom. There we go. I'll go ahead and get this side one more time. Well, bam! Okay, uh, yeah. We're, we're, we're done. We're, this is it. We're going to get them out on the pit. Just waiting on that pit to heat up. Right now we're using a mixture of cherry wood and hickory. I figured the hickory would add a nice bitterness to this, give it a little bite. The cherry is just a really smooth, sweet flavor. I think it should do really well on this cook. Um, and I'm trying to give it a kind of a different profile. That's my dog asking to come in. <laughs> I'm trying to give it a different flavor profile than my normal uh, ribs. So. We'll see. All right, stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna go as far as I can away from the smokestack. It burns, it burns a little hotter over there. I'm just gonna do it here. You wanna get them in a straight line. However these ribs lay on here is how they're gonna cook. So I get them in a straight line, and I kind of bunch them up a bit. It's a little hard just using one hand right now, but bunch them up a bit, and that'll push that uh, the, the meat to the middle of those bones. I guess it really doesn't matter because I'm just gonna take the bones out for the sandwich anyway, but if you're ever just cooking ribs, which we're also gonna do just in case this thing is terrible. All right, stay tuned, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's been about, whoa, I'm gonna drop it here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been about three hours. Ribs are looking pretty good. We're gonna get them wrapped now. Let me see if I can center that a little better. Um, so the whole premise here, we want these things to be as tender as possible. Uh, so we're going to wrap and pretty much let them go until the bones pull right out with uh, you know no, no hesitation at all. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is get some parquet butter on there. I need to refill on that. And then I want a little spice, so we're gonna use the uh, rib candy, the apple habanero. This stuff is gonna be excellent on here. Let's drizzle. Looking delightful. Then we're gonna flip and repeat on the bottom. Just want a ton of flavor in each bite. Apple habanero. Boom. Gonna be a lot of flavor here, guys. It's kind of sad that I'm gonna have to overcook these and then put it on a sandwich. But hopefully it's good. Hopefully this changes my whole life, you know? Doubled up the aluminum foil. It's just so the bones don't point, poke through. Um, still might happen, but a little extra precaution there. I'm actually gonna go meat side down on the smoker. I'm gonna put them in there just like this. Got about another hour and a half to go, and then I think they'll be pretty tender, but we'll see. All right. 
need to uh, see you guys in a little bit. So just in case these don't turn out too well, got these bad boys cooking. Should be pretty good. I don't know, I kind of have faith. I, I, it's a lot of flavor in there and I'll see how they could go wrong, but we'll see. All right, gonna let them cook, get back to you guys in a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been about four hours now. We went three hours unwrapped, one hour wrapped. We're gonna get a look at it. Don't ever really cook this exact method. So, we'll see. Look at the steamy goodness. Let's see. Uh, this is probably actually when I would take them off. Some of the bones are ready, but not all. What do I want to do here? It's weird because the goal is actually to just make them incredibly tender. Oh, well, this might be good enough. Yeah, actually I do think this is uh, tender enough. So I'm gonna pull it off the out of the foil right now. I'm just gonna put it on here, let it tighten up, and then we're gonna get them off and try and get this sandwich made up. Give you guys a better look. I didn't realize you were so far away. Let's see. Yeah, they look good. And they're gonna taste awesome. All right, gonna close it up, give it about 20 minutes, then we'll get back out here on it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the ribs are finally done. They look delicious. A little more tender than I'd like, but hey, it's still ribs. Ugh. Working with them is a little tough. Uh, we're gonna work on getting these bones out and get this sandwich made up. I'm um, hoping they just kinda do that real easily. So a lot of people uh, like it this way. Uh, the, the whole pull the bone right out clean. Um, I When I eat my own ribs, some ribs cooking outside, um, those, I like a little bit more tug on there, uh, but that's just me. Everybody has their thing. That's probably big enough, huh? Okay, the sandwich itself is actually pretty easy to make. Not many ingredients. You have the bread here. I'm gonna flip the ribs over onto it. There we go. That looks very good. Gonna get some barbecue sauce on there. Today we're just using the uh, Cosmos Original. This is kind of the closest I could find in my fridge to uh, like the grocery store barbecue sauces. Uh, so if you guys try to replicate this, you don't have to go out and buy some crazy barbecue sauce. You can just use some Sweet Baby Ray's or Sunny's, whatever you have local to you. Uh, barbecue sauce, onion, not cooked. It's gonna be a texture thing for sure. Can you see? And then I have some Wickles Original Pickles. These things are the bomb. I don't know if you can find these uh, in your stores. I don't know, really know how big they are, but uh, they're very good. A little sweet, so that might be weird on here. But also kind of spicy, which I really dig. Okay, uh, then, well, bam. <laughs> Show you guys. Look at that bad boy. Looks awesome. Gonna move you back, get the taste test going, let you guys know what I think of it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. Time for the taste the test. Uh, this one, I really don't know what to think about. I know the ribs are good. I don't know, I don't know if the sandwich will be. I don't know how it could be bad, but I don't know if it's worth. Maybe just eating the ribs might be worth. Let's see here. Actually, the trouble of just like, taking a bite. I want a pickle. All right, here we go. Good bite right there. Onion, pickle, the whole shebang. Here we go. It really is that good. Bite really good, actually. It destroys an actual McRib. I'm not gonna say it's better than ribs, but it's definitely different and worth trying. 100% worth trying. You could do this on some Hawaiian rolls, I think. Maybe that's what I should have done. Smaller portion, because anyway, this took what, one, two, three, four, five, six ribs to make this sandwich. 
it's a massive sandwich, but two ribs per Hawaiian roll, that might actually come out pretty good. But the sweet pickle, the, the sweet and spicy pickle, you should really check those pickles out if you have them in your stores. Um, the onion, the crunchy onion, adds a lot of texture. I like that actually. And the ribs, super tender, really great flavor. We had a lot of different uh, dimensions to that flavor. Really good. Bread's nothing special, just whatever I could find in the bakery that kind of like fit the description. Let's we'll see if it was a fluke. Try a second bite here. Let me hold you guys there. Hold it in my face. Okay. Sandwich. It was actually a really simple cook too. Uh, we used a little binder, use your favorite rib rub, get them out on the smoker. Three hours. I did use that hickory and that cherry and it did really well on this. I love the bitterness of the hickory and the sweetness of the cherry. I think it combines really well. On pork ribs, just my preference. Pit, three hours. Wrapped them, wrapped them about an hour. Uh, after that hour mark, I noticed they were pretty tender, so that was about four hours total at 250. Gosh, I hope I mentioned that in the beginning of the video. 250 is what I cooked them on. I'll do something if I didn't say 250. Okay, anyway. <laughs> 250, about four hours, then I took them out after I noticed they were really tender. Left them on there for about 20 minutes. Uh, took them out of the foil, left them on the grill for about 20 minutes just to tack up. Pulled them off, deboned the ribs. Uh, like I said, it was about six for this, but I, I like the Hawaiian roll idea. Maybe I'll try that in a later video, just to let you know what I think of it. Um, anyway, deboned them, plated it up, and came out pretty good, guys. I, I definitely recommend trying it. Like I said, it is different than ribs, but it's very good in its own regard. Uh, has a lot of flavor, a lot of different flavor. It's almost like eating like a completely different meal. I highly recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next week. Peace. We need bigger bread.